So we're done with the wiring. The next thing that we need to do is to power up the circuit and then pair the Bluetooth module with my computer. So to supply power, we will need the USB cable to do that, or we'll untether later. So what's happening now is you see that the Bluetooth module has a red blinking LED on its PCB. It's probably blinking and that is telling us that the Bluetooth module is in discovery mode. It's ready to be connected, in other words. I'm going to turn the circuit like this so that the side camera can pick the blinking LED so that once we have the connection established between the module and my computer, the LED will become solid, will stop blinking, and that's how we know that we've got a connection. So let's go over to my computer now. Before I do the pairing between the Bluetooth module and my computer, I would like to upload this little sketch. So this little sketch has got nothing specific designed to work with a Bluetooth connection. This uh, sketch just simply works with serial connections. So you can see it says, uh, this is where it starts the serial interface, whatever that might be. It might be uh, USB or it might be Bluetooth. As long as it's serial, it's going to work. And uh, inside the loop, it checks to see if any data has been sent from the external serial device to the Arduino. And if yes, it, it will read it. And then down here, if that value character that was sent from the external device, from the remote, remote, from the connected device to the Arduino is a capital H, then it will turn on the LED. That's all that is happening here. And again, I repeat that this is nothing specific to the Bluetooth module. This is going to work with the serial interface as well. So before doing the connection, I'm going to upload it. Just double check, I've got the right settings. So there's the Arduino Uno and the correct serial interface and upload the sketch. Now notice that it says that there was an error during the upload. Seems like the USB interface was not able to actually work and that is because I've got the Bluetooth module connected. So the thing to remember here is that the Bluetooth module is connected at this, for this demonstration, on the hardware serial channel of my Arduino that's on pins 0 and 1. And these are the same pins that the USB interface is also using. So right now there is a conflict between the, the Bluetooth device using the two serial interface pins and the USB interface using the same pins. And you can only have one or the other. We can't have both connected at the same time. So to make it possible to upload the sketch via USB, I'm just going to unplug the Bluetooth module and just leave it aside. And that way there's not going to be any conflict between the Bluetooth module and the USB interface trying to use the same UART, the same serial channel. Great, so now let's try to upload again. Great, so this time it worked. I'm going to bring up the serial monitor we still have connection via the USB interface. And I'm just going to type capital H and hit enter. And there you go, the LED turns on. Any other information sent across will turn the LED off, on and off. Great. What I'll do now is I'm going to remove the USB interface and I'm going to power on my Arduino using battery power. I'm going to plug in the Bluetooth module back into my circuit and it's now in discovery mode. And let's go back to my computer and I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth interface on my computer and go into preferences and see if we can find the HC06 interface first and then connect to it. And there it is down here. So click on connect. 
So this is the same process that you follow to create a connection between your computer and any other Bluetooth device. Same process here. So connecting, I need to type in the passkey, which is one, two, three, four, and connect. And there you go, we've got a connection. So we've got a connection between the computer and the Bluetooth device. The LED here, the indicator is still blinking rapidly, but that's okay. Now let's close the serial monitor and go into the Arduino IDE and just change the port of communication from the original USB. So now there's a new entry here under ports uh, and we can select the HC06 dev B. So let's plug that in and then bring up the serial monitor again. And notice that there's no connection. The LED now is solid. It means that the module is connected to a serial monitor or to another serial um, interface on the computer. And let's try to turn on the LED. H, there you go, it's on. Anything else? It's off. So exactly the same functionality as before, but now using a wireless serial connection instead of a wired serial connection. So that was pretty easy, I think. Let's try something else next. Let's plug in a simple sensor and see how we can get the Bluetooth module to help us send data back to the computer via the wireless serial connection as well.